So now we're going to do a word problem, and let's just read it and see if we can figure it out. It says a large coffee pot holds 120 cups. So that's the total amount in the coffee pot. It is about two-thirds full. About how many cups are in the pot? So what do you know? You know you have two-thirds, and so we're going to put that in a fraction. Two over the three, and then we're going to make that equal to the other information that we know. And so the only other number that we have in here to use is the 120 cups. So that's the total. So the totals always go on the bottom. And then what don't we know? We don't know what is two thirds of 120 cups. So we're gonna put an X on top of the 120 cups and this is called cross multiplying. And as you read word problems, you'll see that um, most of the problems can be solved with cross multiplying. So now let's cross multiply. So first, we're going to take the top and we're going to go to the bottom of the other fraction and we're going to times it. So 2 times 120 is 240 and we're still going to use the equal sign and that is equal to the bottom times the second top which is 3x. So now after you cross multiply you have 240 equals 3x. You need to get x by itself always, all the time. You need to ask yourself, is x by itself? And if it's not by itself, then you're not done yet. So now you divide both sides by the number that's next to x, which is the 3. And when I do it on this side, I have 3x over 3 automatically. It cancels itself out. So now we do have x by itself. Then we're going to take 240 and divide it by 3. And that answer will give us what x is. So an easy way that I like to use is just uh, not use the zero and then just say 24 divided by 3 which is 8 so you have 8 and then you bring back the zero so you have 80 and so you have 80 equals X um, that's just an easier way to do it. You could do the 240 divided by 3 using long division. So let's do that. But you don't have to. And when you do that, you'll find that you do get the same answer. So you can either use long division to solve it, or you can not count the zero at first and just do 24 divided by 3, get your 8, and then add back the zero later. And this is cross multiplying, and so you have to ask yourself, where is the fraction in the word problem? More than likely there's always a fraction that you use. We saw the two-thirds so automatically. We set up the two-thirds first to equal a portion over a total, so you have to ask yourself, what other information was in here? Is there a total or is there part of a total? And they said a large coffee pot holds 120 cups, so that's the total that they gave us. So what don't we know? We don't know the part of the total, so that's why we put the X there. Then you cross multiply, and then once you're done cross multiplying, you have to get X by itself. You divide the number next to X on both sides, and then you get your answer.